Normally, I would start with the Kenya Moore intro, but this video is focused on Leticia from Married to Medicine, so that's why I'm not doing that. What's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News. Most of you are aware that Kenya Moore is no longer on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Allegedly, she was shooting a scene with one of the newbies, and they got in an argument, and that person said, I got a gun for B words like you. It felt, you know, threatened. Bravo did not suspend the newbie. Bravo did not protect her. And during her hair spa opening, that newbie was allowed to crash her event, even though she did not feel safe. At that event, you know, words and things were exchanged. And then the alleged, you know, revenge P word was committed is what people were reporting. But as you can see from Kenya's statements and everything else she's been saying, she did not commit revenge P bravo did not release an official statement and saying for example revenge p is illegal and will absolutely not be tolerated and because of this we have you know released kenya moore none of that happened different outlets reported that kenya moore was fired but when they reached out to bravo bravo declined to comment on anything okay so kenya is standing by her claims that she did not commit revenge p and the reason why she left is because she did not feel protected by bravo when the alleged revenge p happened bravo instantly okay allegedly suspended kenya and launched an investigation however when this person threatened kenya and said i have a gun for b words like you bravo did absolutely nothing now what kenya is saying is that that didn't happen however yes they did launch an investigation to verify if she committed revenge p okay and she's saying that that didn't happen but they did not instantly launch an investigation when she said this person allegedly threatened her and because of that and after giving bravo years of blood sweat and tears for them to still continuously treat her the way that they treat her she decided to leave for those of you who are new here and have missed all of my coverage on this click the links in the description below i'll go to the rhoa playlist to watch everything i've said about this whole kenya moore and bravo issue i want to get to leticia but leticia was on tiktok live leticia is from married to medicine dr g wife she was on tiktok live and she's a newbie for Married to Medicine. So she joined the conversation and she was just saying, gave us a chance. She did not disrespect Kenya. She did not speak on Kenya, you know, situation because she doesn't know what's going on. She was just speaking in general that sometimes when the newbies, you know, come on the show, some of the OGs, they do too much and all of that. But she doesn't know what this person did or said to Kenya for Kenya to react. So because of that, she Leticia just spoke about her own personal experience. So for those of you who did not see that video, please click the very first link in the description below to watch that video. I do not want to insert it in here because I did a long video on it. It's the last video I posted before this one so you cannot miss it so if you missed that video put this one on pause go and listen to what Leticia had to say about being a newbie and then come back here so while Leticia was on live with her sister now her sister is pregnant she was in bed she was tired so the bottom part of the screen is dark because her sister was already in bed when she added her to the live during that Instagram live she did clarify her comments because some people misinterpreted what she had to say and just did entirely too much because you know some of them are already not here for dr g and new wife leticia so let's get into her clarification and then after that she's also going to clap back because some of her current husband ex-wife quad fans came on her instagram live telling her to get out of quad's old house because she still lives in that house where quad used to live with her husband so let's get into it she said, you should not, you should just focus on yourself and your husband. You went on a rant about Real Housewives and you don't know the business, the business or anything that's going on. So you shouldn't be speaking on another reality show. Girl, I was not speaking on really another. I was just like that. 
that just sparked another thought in me about newbies coming into a group because I'm also a newbie. So I didn't really make that really about Real Housewives. I was just speaking in general. That just kind of sparked a thought. And I started to talk about that. So just, you know, just a little bit of clarification, just in case you, you know, just a little clarification so in case you forgot. And of course, you're going to say whatever you want to say because this is a public platform and you have your own experience. Uh, but people right. Do, but, you know, they get but hurt. So, look, that's he gone. <laughs> <laughs> but why they dislike you so much okay no that's not one which do you think is worse for newbies the revenge porn or putting up with heavenly shit y'all I say it's evil <laughs> either way it's evil <laughs> evil is evil <laughs> evil yeah it's evil oh yeah <laughs> Cause man, uh, to society. <laughs> I'm saying that's how I say work environment. Right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. Well, she need to be worried. She uh, she need instead of worry about what what's going on over there, what you got going on with your family, and what's going on over there. She need to be worried about her husband. That's what she need to be worried about. Yeah, but let's not let let's not make her relevant as much as she want to be so bad. Let's not even make her relevant, okay? Moving on. Youth don't fit in and get out of quiet house. Ooh, baby, I'm always be in um I'm always be in her old house because my house will be like go 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 go. Who's next? This is my mother's house. This is my house, and I'm not going nowhere. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna go nowhere. You ain't gonna do nothing. (laughs) This is my house, girl. This is my house, and I'm comfortable in my house. Okay, it's my house, my husband's house, and it has always been my husband's house, and I sleep good every night, every night in it, I sure do, every night, this my motherfucker house, what you gonna do, what you gonna do, you ain't gonna do nothing, you ain't gonna do nothing, but watch me in my motherfucker house, in my house. Yes. 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 People are ridiculous. Don't pay them no attention. Just need to get off. Yeah, get off your uh, your live. Okay. It'll be great to bond. Great day networking. It would be great. Who wants to fit in? If I have to fit in, I don't want to be in. Okay, girl. I come back and you pop in. Yo, shit. <laughs> Girl, yes. People, are, ooh, you in quiet old house. Ooh. Who gives a damn? This is my motherfucking house. It's my house, and I do what I want in my house. How do, how does this feel? I can never be in that house. Girl, I sleep good every night. I sure do. I sure do. I sleep good with my man, with my husband, every night. Have a great time. That's you and your husband house ex her where her husband else is. Oh Lord Jesus. No comment. No comment. And all the haters, you continue to watch me because I know you're waiting for your follow back. I know you're waiting for your follow back. So keep watching me. Keep making me relevant, bitches. Cause that's all y'all doing. That's all y'all doing. Keep watching and hating on me. Y'all ain't y'all ain't doing nothing but making me more famous. <laughs> thank you. Look, thank you. Thank you. If anything, you making me more relevant. It ain't doing nothing but empowering me. So thank you. I appreciate it.
I'm thought I'm glad that he says I'm glad you just have a voice because they thought you were going to be a punk heavily in Jackie. And them bitches thought wrong. They thought wrong. They thought wrong. The joke was on them. <laughs> the only reason why I was just like kind of holding back because of my husband and also I was just new getting to know things but um bitches is understanding who the fuck I am um bitches thought that you was gonna mess with me they thought I do the same thing okay work these comments are coming in Work from home remotely. We make great, very good money. Yes, girl, we sure do. Some of us remote sisters, we got to stick together. And I will never quit my job. I will never quit my, my government job just because I'm on reality TV. Don't ever let, even if you start doing reality TV, don't let these idiots tell you to quit their jobs. And don't try to keep up with the Joneses just because, because of these folks. She didn't want him, so it shouldn't be a problem moving on. Correct. Well, who said who said that? I wish I can pin that. Sure sexy too. You said it. If she didn't want him, she shouldn't it shouldn't be a problem and people should be moving on. They should. You know, but we gonna pray for the people. We gonna pray that they continue to move on. I hope they move on. It's not good to revisit the past. It's just not good. Um, I'm all about moving forward, not backwards. You know, don't block your blessings and that can always slow you down. And you will never have a successful relationship if you trauma dump and you can't let go of the past. Yes, girl. We can do a girls' night. Don't worry about those simpletons. You right. Are you going to try and make a baby? Yes, girl. I'm trying to make a baby. We we trying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, we are trying to make a baby. But I think once the season is up, it'll be a lot more easier. So, Who am I getting along with this season? I get along with everybody. I get along. <laughs> I get along with everybody. <laughs> yeah, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just a lot of silliness going on, and just me coming off the street, and I'm in new and different situations and I'm placed in positions where I have, to, you know, a lot of conflict and, you know, you get my fresh opinion about it. The T line is going good. I just have not had the time to really put work and effort. Well, not, I'm not, I'm not going to say because I put a lot of effort into it. Um, I just haven't had the time to really get the tease out. Like I figured out everything, but it's just, I'm currently working two jobs and I don't have anybody working for me right now. And I'm just busy and I'm still trying to set up things. So you guys, I appreciate you for being patient with me. Cause it's been a lot, you know, we've been working a full-time job, also filming is a lot. So, and I don't have anybody to really just to, to work and help me produce and, and mail out things for me right now. And those are things that I'm kind of doing on my own or leaning on friends to kind of help me with. Okay, some people I got to block out of here because we got some ignorant people in here. Thank you, thank you. I had to block some people out here because some people want to be ignorant and don't want to use their heads. When I keep educating you, some of these people on endometriosis and talking about a baby, I just got haters for no reason. But when you get out of pocket... I'm gonna put you out the group. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put you out of my 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 live. That's for sure. Yeah, me and Toy are cool. <sighs> yes, Gary does deserve.
happiness and we do have to get to a point where he just needs to be in his happiness. Why would we have to go back and revisit the past? So silly, so immature. Why are you talking like this? I'm just having, a, I'm just being silly. Oh, what up from Colleen, Texas? Oh yeah, I've been wanting to come to Jamaica because I heard they had the period poverty thing going on. And I actually wanted to be a part of that and learn more about what's going on because I heard a lot of women, I mean, young girls are missing school because they don't have enough sanitary napkins. And those, some of the things that I want to do, me and my girlfriend wanted to team up together and we wanted to create um, washable pads for some of the kids out there. Like, I would love that. And we would love to go to, like, go to high schools um, to see if they have, like, some type of FCCLA um, groups where we can, you know, teach them how to make the pads and, um, and give them out to some of the women's shelters. That's something that I'm really doing. So I actually did come out with a nonprofit. I'm going to start focusing more on it once I'm finished filming, but it's called NOMO. And it's... Um, National Outreach for Menstrual um, Optimism. Okay. It's not letting me uh, make, you know, make some people some odds for some reason. Any regrets for turning back for your second season? Mm, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I have any regrets right now. I'm just living my life. And I think some of the things that I got to not focus on is just like, I need to stop focusing on, you know, what people have to say about me, you know. But sometimes I like to like responding, but I just need to live my life and, you know, and allow the people to document my life. But also, um, I don't really want people to try to attach themselves to my life, especially if they don't have my best interests. That's all I'm saying. I said, but why they dislike you so much? It's because you bag an older man and they can't even bag a sandwich. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Girl, not because you can't even bag a sandwich. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with bagging an older man. You know, people going to bag whoever they want to bag. Right. Okay. Hey. And, and unlike some people, I actually love my husband. You know, you know, very, you know, we, we, yeah, we have a 23 age difference, but I actually love my husband. Like, I really, really love that man. Like, I would beat somebody ass over that man. Yeah, but I've grown to love Gregory, too. You know, he's, he's a, he's a awkward guy, but you know. <laughs> he's a what? He awkward, he awkward dude, you know. <laughs> but I, he's cool. He's a good brother-in-law, I can say that. He's there. He had the family events. He's always a team player. Always yeah, giving us words of encouragement from day one. So, yeah, uh, brother in law, and I have great and I have great in laws myself on Gregory's side. I love mm -hmm. my in laws. We spend we spend holidays together. We spend birthdays together. So somebody I have I says. When should we expect the next Married to Medicine to air? You're probably not going to expect it until like late fall. When is the merch dropping, Teacups? Are you racist? Once I'm finished with the season, I'm dropping the merch. I ain't got nobody to help me drop this merch, and I'm busy working a full-time job and filming. It's a lot. So once we wrap. Um, um you know you have the, your bullies in the bunch for sure. Okay, I'm going to give you all a, a tour of my makeup one day. Not even one day. Give me like the next couple of days. I'm gonna give y'all one. I'm actually gonna probably just get on my live and do my makeup and just talk to y'all. Can you make government girly social group? Really? That's a good idea. I could. I could. You know, anybody that's interested in working in the intelligence community, um, anything government, um, you know, you have clearance jobs, you have some jobs listed on and Indeed, make sure you up update your LinkedIn. Um, sometimes you need to get entry level jobs, make sure you get in. Even if you got to take a job like working, cleaning or something like that to get your clearance, it's worth it. It's worth it. So, yeah, we have a lot to, to talk about. So that is a good I should create a group. But let me get off here. Thank you, y'all. I did my own makeup and I got my hair braided. Um, dang, I gotta, I'll put the link. I got to put a link somewhere. I got my hair braided. But, but I found a place that did my hair. 
They did it for a really good price, and they did it really quick. I had, like, one or two people on my hair at one at one point. About two people. I was in there and out of there. That's all that matters. Okay. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're ready and post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless. You.